Hi, this is Jessica O'Donoghue, and I'm back with Jane Sheldon again talking about Superbloom. This time she's going to go deeper into the vocal magic that you can expect to experience from this fabulous program. Of course, Jane, you've got an amazing performance career and also you're a fabulous composer. One would say you're an expert at this sort of vocal embodiment and how it might sort of manifest sound in different ways. You're writing a piece for us as well, which will be a world premiere, which we're very excited about. Um, can you just give us a sneak preview into what we might expect? Yeah. What I'm interested in is compositions that treat a whole lot of, treat the full spectrum of vocalising as potential sound objects to be organised within music. Vocal sound that comes from involuntary sound, I would say, like the sound that emerges from the body when we're surprised or we're tired or we're... And sounds that are not strictly harnessed for expression. They're just kind of incidental sounds. So my piece, Blumenmuskel, is text by Rilke, Boom and Muskul being flower muscle. And it's actually an arrangement of a piece that I wrote for myself last year for um, a new album. Um, and as I was writing it for myself, I was aware that I was going to arrange it for some company. I, I really desired all these voices. So it's lovely to actually have this fuller version of the piece realised. Suffice to say, it represents the lush end, the wet end of this spectrum of um, aridness to lushness, but there's this kind of constant watery activity to all the vocal lines. Each singer is kind of given the freedom to apply a certain set of ornaments to what's often quite a limited pitch series. I think sonically that there's a lot of possibility that's dramatically suggestive. Don't miss out on seeing uh, the world premiere of Jane Sheldon's Flower Muscle and this very exciting program, Super Bloom.